Today's lesson is about verifying trig identities. First of all, here are some tips for verifying trig identities. Start with the more complicated side and rewrite everything in terms of a sine and a cosine. Whenever you see 1 plus or minus cosine x or 1 plus or minus sine x as a denominator using conjugate multiply to simplify. Remember that when 1 minus cosine x or 1 plus cosine x as a denominator, you are supposed to get a sine square x as a denominator after you did a conjugate multiply. When 1 minus sin x and 1 plus sin x as a denominator, after you did a conjugate multiply, you are supposed to get cosine square x as a denominator. When you do verifying trig identities, try to remember the following identities. You have reciprocal identities, especially for cosecant and a secant changing into sine or cosine. For ratio identities uh, for tangent x and a cotangent x, how use uh, sine cosine to stand for that. For Pythagorean trig identities, uh, this one is more important. Now go to some example. Look at A. Cosine theta plus sine theta square plus cosine theta minus sine theta square equals 2. We start with the left hand side. For a plus b square, we know that it's a square plus 2ab plus b square. So we expand this uh, binomial square. We got uh, cosine square theta plus 2 cosine theta sine theta plus sine square theta. For this part, we got uh, cosine square theta minus 2 cosine theta sine theta then plus sine square theta. Combine like terms, cancel out. We got 2 cosine square theta plus 2 sine square theta. Then we take a 2 out. We got the cosine square theta plus sine square theta. That is a 2 times 1 equals 2 equals right hand side. Finish proving. For B, we will do the same thing. So for 2 sine theta squared, that's 4 sine squared theta. This 2 multiply times 2, we got 12 sine theta cosine theta. Then for 3 cosine theta squared, that's a plus 9 cosine squared theta. You just need to remember a plus b squared equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So for this one, we got 9 sine square theta. Then for this 2 multiply times 2, that will be negative 12 for sine theta cosine theta. The negative 2 cosine theta squared, that's a 4 cosine square theta. Then you can combine like terms. This is go. For sine square theta, you got the 13 sine square theta. 
for cosine squared theta, you still get that 13. Cosine squared theta, that's 13. Equals right hand side. That's we finish proving. Let's go to C. For the C part, we're working on this uh, fraction first. So we get started from uh, left hand side. We got the one minus cosine theta times put the one over one. We got the cosine theta. Then cross multiply, we got the cosine theta plus one. This is a multiplication, so I can put the over 1. I will get the cosine theta as a denominator. For 1 minus cosine theta, this is cosine theta plus 1. Basically, that's 1 plus cosine theta. So we can do a plus b times a minus b. Conjugate multiply. We got a squared minus b squared. So we got the 1 minus cosine squared theta. That is the sine squared theta over cosine theta. Now you need to analyze uh, this uh, trig expression on the right side of these uh, trig identities. We need a tangent theta. We know that uh, sine theta over cosine theta, that's a tangent theta. So for sine squared theta, I can write down sine theta times sine theta. And for this part, that's a tangent theta. So you've got the tangent theta times the sine theta equals right hand side. So we finished the proof. Now let's go to D. Still, where you have this operation, I will work on this uh, addition of fraction first. So left hand side, that's one over one. We got the sine theta. Numerator will be sine theta plus one. For these trick expressions, we need to do the factor so that we can reduce. We try to factor this one, we can reduce uh, with this uh, fraction. Therefore, I got uh, sine theta, that's common factor, that's 1 minus uh, sine theta. Then we put over 1. We know that uh, sine theta, 1 as a denominator, 1 as a numerator, reduce. So we got uh, denominator, this is a 1, so basically it's 1. Numerator, I got sine theta plus 1 times uh, 1 minus uh, sine theta. For sine theta plus 1, we count as uh, 1 plus sine theta. Then we got uh, a plus b times uh, a minus b. That's conjugate multiply. We got the a squared minus b squared. Therefore, I got 1 minus uh, sine squared theta. That will be cosine squared theta. It's a uh, right hand side. So we finish the proof. Here's the rule. When you have fraction, that's a rational expressions. We need to factor each expression so that we can reduce them. Now let's go to E. Still, we need to get started from the left hand side. Change everything into sine and a cosine. So we got the 1 over cosine A minus cosine A. Then we do operation of fraction. Denominator multiply, that's cosine A. Then do cross multiply, we got the 1 minus cosine square A. 
1 minus cosine square a, we know that it's a sine square a over cosine a. Analyze the trig expressions on the right side. We've got uh, tangent a over here. Therefore, we for sine square a, I turn into sine a times sine a. Then for cosine a. This one, we create the tangent a times a sine a. That's equals to right hand side. So we finish proof. Now let's go to F. Here's the signal for you to do conjugate multiply. So we get start from left hand side. We know cosine theta denominator is one minus sine theta. We do conjugate multiply to the top and the bottom. That is the one plus sine theta. One plus sine theta. For these two, we got one minus sine square theta. Therefore, we got cosine square theta as a denominator. Before you do this uh, conjugate multiply, remember that cosine square theta is our expected uh, value. So we got this part. Then we bring down the top cosine theta times one plus sine theta. Then we reduce. We got the cosine theta as a denominator. Therefore, I got one plus sine theta over cosine theta. When you analyze uh, the right side of this uh, trick identities, we need to separate this fraction. So we got one over cosine theta plus sine theta over cosine theta. Then we got second theta plus uh, tangent theta. That's equals to right hand side. So we finish uh, proof. Now let's go to G. First of all, you need to change uh, everything into sine and a cosine on the left side. So we get started from the left side, change everything into sine and a cosine for cosine alpha. One minus tangent alpha, that's a sine alpha over cosine alpha plus sine alpha over one minus for cotangent, that's a cosine alpha over sine alpha. Now we're working on the denominator, this operation. To the top, still cosine alpha. Denominator, we do cross multiply. Denominator multiply, that's cosine alpha. Cross multiply, that's a cosine alpha minus sine alpha. Then plus sine alpha stay at the top. Denominator, we do operation of addition. That will be sine alpha as denominator because one times sine alpha. Then we do cross multiply. You will get sine alpha minus cosine alpha. This time, since we have a clear division line, we can jump. Make a denominator jump to the top. We got cosine alpha minus sine alpha. And then 
cosine square alpha plus this part we have a sine alpha minus cosine alpha, then sine square alpha. Let's check the denominator cosine alpha minus sine alpha and sine alpha minus cosine alpha. They are opposite to each other. We know a minus b and a b minus a are opposite to each other. So I can put the negative sign before b minus a so that we can get the a minus b. In this case, I can put the negative sign before sine alpha minus cosine alpha so that we can get the cosine alpha minus sine alpha. And we got the same denominator, so we can put this together. Denominator is cosine alpha minus sine alpha. Numerator, we put cosine square alpha minus sine square alpha. For cosine square alpha minus sine square alpha, this is uh, those factoring a square minus b square equals a plus b times uh, a minus b. Therefore, for cosine square alpha minus sine square alpha, I can factor like uh, cosine alpha plus sine alpha times uh, cosine alpha minus sine alpha. Then we can reduce these two and get cosine alpha plus sine alpha. That's the right hand side. So we finish this proof. Let's go to H. For H, when you have 1 plus cosine theta, that's conjugate multiply. You are supposed to get sine square theta as a denominator. Therefore, we get starting from left hand side and we will do the conjugate multiply for 1 plus cosine theta. That's multiplied by 1 minus cosine theta top and bottom. We need to bring down this part. That's 1 plus cosine theta over sine theta. For these two, we know that 1 minus cosine squared theta. So 1 minus cosine squared theta, that's a sine squared theta. Then we got the sine theta times 1 minus cosine theta. Never, never do distributive property during the process of uh, verifying trig identities because we need to reduce the factor. Then I add sine theta top is one plus cosine theta. Now we can reduce, here's one, this is sine theta. We got the same denominator, both sine theta. Therefore, I can put this together. That's sine theta. Top, I got the one plus cosine theta plus 1 plus cosine theta. Now we can combine like terms. This is gone. We got the 2 over sine theta. That is uh, 2 times cosecant theta equals right hand sign. So finish the proof. Now let's go to I. We got a signal for conjugate multiply. So we do that separately. We have left hand side equals 1 minus cosine theta. We need to do conjugate multiply 1 plus cosine theta. Top will be sine theta times 1 plus cosine theta. 
Nehemiah remembered for these two, the expected value both is a sine square theta. That's our goal. So for these two, we got the y minus cosine square theta. That give to you sine square theta. So go to the second part. We have a minus one plus cosine theta. Then we do one minus cosine theta. Top and the bottom. Bring down this part is the sine theta. So we got one minus cosine square theta. That will be sine square theta. Then to the top, that's a sine theta times one plus cosine theta. Go to this part. We got the same denominator. That's a sine square theta. Top part, that's a sine theta times 1 minus cosine theta. Reduce, we got the sine theta. Since we have the same denominator, when we add together, we got the same denominator, that's a sine theta. To the top, 1 plus cosine theta. Be careful for this sign. You see, this is a negative sign. When you have negative sign, and uh, this one is a binomial, you have to put the parentheses. So minus one minus cosine theta. Then you do distributive property. You will get sine theta. 1 plus cosine theta minus 1 plus uh, cosine theta. Then you combine like terms. This is gone. You got the 2 cosine theta over sine theta. Cosine over sine, that's cotangent. So you got the 2 cotangent theta. That is a uh, right hand side so we finish this proof let's go to j same thing this give you signal you got to do conjugate multiply then expected the answer will be cosine square theta as a denominator so left hand side equals one over one minus sine theta you have to do conjugate multiply, top and bottom. That's a 1 plus sine theta, 1 plus sine theta. Then I add 1 plus sine theta. You have to do conjugate multiply. That's 1 minus sine theta. 1 minus sine theta. Here's 1 times. Then working on conjugate multiply, this part is 1 minus sine square theta. For this two, we got the 1 minus sine square theta. 1 minus sine square theta, that's a cosine square theta. Top, I got the 1 plus sine theta. Then I add cosine square theta. We got the 1 minus sine theta. Therefore, since we got the same denominator, I add to the top. I got the 1 plus sine theta plus 1 minus sine theta. Combine like terms, reduce. You will get 2 over cosine square theta. 
that is uh, two times uh, secant square theta. That's equal to right hand side. So we finish the proof.